So do I think do I think stores are pressured to hold sales during Black Friday? I think I think that's true for uh, some stores. It, de it really depends on the store. When you have a uh, big franchise like Apple, they don't really have to hold any sale because their like their products are in such high demand. But when we're talking about like let's say something like basic like a clothing store, there's so many clothing stores out there. Like just off the top of my head, Zara, Forever 21, um, Abercrombie and Fitch. Just off the top of my head, that's like three amongst I don't know how many in the world. Those clothing stores, because there's so many other competitors, and it's not like one of one single clothing store blows them out of the water. Of course, they're pressured to um, hold sales in their own um, in their own business so that they can attract others. Because you know the the word sale just rings a bell in everyone's head, and you know, you, of course, cheaper is usually better. And so yeah, I, I do believe that uh, most for the most part stores are pressured to hold sales and most of America is built of huge, huge uh, companies, franchises that um, they, they go by what the corporate says and then all the stores does it. So of course, they're either forced to and at the same time, they're probably pressured to. Back then, mo most definitely, Black Black Friday was more of a thing. It was more like, wow, like these, this, this is a steal. Going through the years now, um, ten years later from being ten years old, basically, uh, I just got back from Black Friday, and I, I gotta say, uh, the deals are. It's not really there. Black Friday is more of, more of a tradition. It's like we're they're just doing it because it's Black Friday. It's because it's an annual day. It's because it happens, not because they want to put things on sale, not because they want to mark things down. I see Black Friday is more of a, it's more, <clears throat> it's more of a business move than anything really. And the the concept of Black Friday is very ironic that it's a day where you go out and you splurge. You just want to spend your money. Like me going out today, I felt like. I want to spend my money, even though there's not something in particular that I really needed. It's just I felt the, felt the, like the need or the like the obligation to spend my money just simply because it's Black Friday. No, what are you buying for Black Friday? Black Friday? I'm gonna buy a bunch of clothes. Anything else? Bought me a few games for my DS. I'm buying a pair of joggers from H&M. Anything else? Oh, uh, uh, maybe a few video games here and there. Um, yeah, Black Friday is definitely just, it's an excuse for uh, consumers, customers like myself and really anyone else out there. It's an excuse for all of us to just go out and, you know, spend our money and buy things just because there's a sale. But if you think about it, there's not really, there's not really much of a sale going on. Like I know Best Buy is a big one. Best Buy has like, like pretty decent sales here and there, but for the most part, not everyone needs to buy TV, a brand new TV every, like, you know, every year. But yeah, for the most part, um, customers, consumers, they most definitely use Black Friday as a day to, you know, just as an excuse to splurge and spend their money the way they want to on things that they want to have. Alright. Is that the interview? Yeah. Cool. That's